Today we have three really, really interesting things going on with this video. The first one is probably the title and thumbnail of the video, which is I'm going to take this charging cable, which is the standard Tesla charging cable that used to come included with your car, and now it doesn't, you have to pay extra for it. Last time I was in the Las Vegas airport, I found an outlet that would fit this. And so I'm gonna check and see, I'm gonna be gone for a few days, for a week, and I'm gonna plug my car in and see if I can charge this entire car for free in the Las Vegas airport, just using a regular outlet. It's not like it's illegal or anything. We do have sentry mode on the car, so if security does come and uh, unplug it, we should see that on the video footage, and so that is kind of fun. The second thing that I'm doing today is I'm flying 25 hours really, really far away, and I'm doing it all in British Airways business class, which I've never been on before, and I hope it's super comfortable and the beds are nice and the food is good. And I'm gonna be doing some crazy stuff on a frozen lake involving some, I think, electric vehicles. That is the video today. It should be fun, but uh, we gotta get started. Let's go. Oh, and there's also a fourth thing. I gotta take her to school. This is Claire. She has school. It's the second to last day of the quarter, and then spring break. Bye, Claire. Have a good day at school. Bye. Love you. Okay, we have entered the parking garage. So Terminal 3 is the one that's not as much used. It's newer, it's nicer. And a little hack for travel, I travel a lot. Don't go to the second level or the third level or like the main level. They're super busy and in the parking garages and you're gonna have to drive around and look and look and look. Just go around this little turny thing right here and go up as high as you can go. So I think there's six levels here, but the fifth level is the highest one you can go that still is covered. So there we go, parking garage, fifth level, and look how open it is. Look at that, wide open, no cars. The other levels were seriously packed, like there were tons of cars down there. Barely any cars over here. But then look at this. Over here is the wall, and right there, there is a charger. So if I can park right here, I should be able to plug in. Look how empty this parking garage is. No cars around you and a charger outlet. The thing that I don't like about this spot is the one over there has like a pillar that blocks it. This one, the pillar is over this way. So um, yeah, this is where you charge. This is the outlet right there. Look at that. I feel like that should work. Like it's right there next to my car. All right, plugged in there. Okay, that's promising. Look at that. And then look at that. It says it's charging. Look at that, two miles an hour. It's gonna take probably one to two days. We're plugged in. All right, so here is the deal. I'm in Los Angeles right now, and I've been waiting here for five hours. I flew here from Las Vegas, and now I have the night flight. I'm Flying on a British Airways flight, let me show you the plane. Also good news, check this out. We've gained 33 miles of range as it's been parked there. We still have 24 plus hours to charge. <laughs> so the airport people have still not figured it out that I'm charging there, or they don't care. Maybe this is one of the best Tesla travel hacks that I've ever seen that a lot of people don't know about. Because it was not the only outlet. There were outlets all throughout the parking garage I think I just unlocked something because slower charge is better on the batteries, so that's good. Plus, I'm not in a big rush. Usually, once I get home from a flight to Vegas, I have a two hour drive home and I have to go charge and it takes an extra 45 minutes just for me to drive to the superchargers, to sit there and wait and then drive out past the strip and then go out. So this is a 45 minute time saver. Plus, you don't have to pay for supercharging. Really, really good. So they're boarding my flight right now. I'm gonna give you a review of the British Airways first class. It is lay down seats. I am going to take NyQuil and try to sleep for a little while. So I probably won't film a ton on the plane because the audio is really bad. I'll get some B-roll shots and then I'll talk to you afterward. I 
I slept for nine hours. It was fantastic. It was a nine hour, 45 minute flight, but we are an hour late and apparently I missed my connection. <laughs> I've been traveling for a long time now. I am in London, I'm at Heathrow Airport and I'm at the British Airways Lounge, which has some of the best shepherd's pie I've ever had. I don't know if I'm gonna make it to the north part of Sweden for the entire reason why I was flown out here to Europe. But I do need to get a hotel tonight in Sweden and there's something that's been kind of on my bucket list for many, many years. I get in at 11.30, I just booked a hotel room and I bought, you know, the in, you know on the planes they have the wings and then they have like the engines. There's like two engines on some on the right side, two engines or maybe just one on each side. Anyways, the 747s, these bigger planes, those engines are huge. So what they did is they took the engine out of it and they built a room inside of there and there's a door where the engine was. So I booked that room and that's where I'm staying tonight in the airplane hotel. So will I make it to Sweden to the frozen lake tomorrow? I'm not quite sure. I might just stay in the airplane hotel and then turn around and fly all the way back home, which is kind of a waste of a couple days, you might think, but I'm actually having a good time and bringing you guys along and I get to go to the airplane hotel. So um, hopefully the next thing you see is me going, getting on my flight to Stockholm, Sweden, and then taking a taxi or whatever in the dark and getting to this airplane hotel, finding my way there. And then let's do a review of this hotel room. That sounds fun, right? I think it sounds fun. So that's what's happening. All right, let's go. Sweden just went through border patrol and he's like, how long are you gonna be here? I'm like, two days. He's like, just two days? What are you doing? I'm like, I'm gonna go drive a car on a frozen lake. He's like, why are you doing that? And I said, for a YouTube video. And he goes, I thought I recognized you. So he totally recognized me. Kind of helps when you go through border patrol sometimes. I don't have any bags that I checked and it's midnight here. It looks freezing outside. There's snow outside. So anyways, we're gonna go find a taxi and it's not far. It's basically almost walkable, but probably need a taxi. There's all these people waiting over here, but I think this is where the taxi line is. Okay, we've made it to the airplane hotel. It was the shortest ride ever, and there was a ginormous line, but there were all these taxi guys that were off on the side that were like, hey, you can come over here, charge me 200 of whatever their dollars were. And I don't know how much it is, but I'm glad I didn't have to stand in that line. Reception, that must be the way. Thank you. Okay, we walked in and I have to call somebody. Apparently you have to be really quiet in here because there's people sleeping all over in the hotel. I mean, look at this. Airplane door, airplane wing. I'm gonna leave my bags right here. I got my key. There's nobody here checking in this time of night. But down that hallway is where all the showers and the bathrooms are. And so if I need to use the restroom, I have to do it here now because I have to go down the stairs and out to the wing to get to my spot. Seven fifteen. This is so weird. I gotta get inside of the plane wing and tell you about this, but this is so weird. Okay, that's seven sixteen. Is that seven fifteen? Seven seventeen. 
So 17, 16. Okay, I must be down on the edge. Oh, so much snow. I am not used to this cold weather. <laughs> this is my wing for the night. This is where I'm staying. What is this? 715. Big old airplane on the edge of the wing in the motor. Okay. Hello. Coming in. Okay. Okay. Where's the lights? Lights? Oh. We got a light. Oh, it's a little one right above my head. It's very echoey in here. Okay. It's kind of hard to see. Oh, that's a heater. I probably shouldn't throw my hat on that. Oh my gosh. This is about as bright as it gets. Let me do a flashlight. What is this place? It's so stupid. Okay, so you walk in the door and the walls are inside of a motor, an engine. And then I've got a little mirror right here. Hi. Then this is the bed. This is it. It goes down there to the end. That's pretty much it. Oh, and I do have a TV. Okay, nice. Some days don't turn out the way you plan. Crazy that I'm ending my day, which has been like a day and a half, it's been so many hours, in an airplane hotel in a wing in Sweden. It sounds like I'm going to fly out at noon tomorrow, so in like 11 hours out of here, and then fly up to the Arctic Circle, get to the Arctic Circle, and then go do cool car stuff for a day, and then fly back. I'll be back here at this airport in no time, like 24 hours I'll be back here, so for now, I need to sleep inside of here. Whew. Well, good morning. Um, how did I sleep inside of the airplane hotel? Not super great, honestly. The blanket was a little too short for me, so my feet stuck out at the end. So I had to get a coat out of my bag and put it over my feet. And then randomly the wing shakes. I don't know if people are walking in the airplane or if they're walking on top of the wing, but it'll shake. You know, wings are flexible. They're made to flex in different turbulence. Well, you're just about out here at the very end of the wing and it just randomly shakes and kind of wakes you up. So I didn't sleep great, but it was a good experience. Time to leave, go to the airport, but let me show you what it looks like out here in the daytime. Mm -hmm. You can kind of see inside of here better now that it's daytime. This heater actually keeps it decently warm. It's just, it wasn't quite warm enough when you're outside of the blanket. Goodbye, Jumbo Stay Sweden Hotel. I would say it's a good experience to try, but if you're trying to get the most rest, probably not the best place. But um, lots of these people are staying here tonight. It was packed, it was 100% full. And look at that, there's people walking out on the wing. That's where you can eat, is out on the wing. No wonder my room got shaky last night. Now they said that there's a shuttle. So here is the bus stop. Well, apparently it's not that one. Well, after 30 hours and many, many airplanes, this should be the last plane to get to my destination. And then tomorrow, I make my way back, so here we go. Okay, we made it to Lulea Airport. I don't know how to say it but uh, Nordica Airlines, it was actually some other type of airline, but anyway, the ground is pure ice. We just flew over the ocean and it looks so cool with all the ocean just frozen. Whew. These shoes are not the best for snow. I probably should have brought something go. This airport is very nice. It looks sunny outside actually. So I need to get my bag. I had to check it, so a small plane. And then I have a three hour taxi ride. So I've got to somehow convince a taxi to take me three hours. This is quite the adventure. This is our car, our taxi. It's not yellow. Hey, but it is much nicer than a regular taxi. Very snowy out here. Hopefully the road isn't too windy. And then we'll get to the hotel. This has been an adventure. I'm gonna have to calculate how many hours it's been since I left my house, but been a lot, like probably 35 hours maybe. 
I don't know. Look at all that snow out there. Look at those piles of snow. So we stopped to get gas. <laughs> the taxi driver bought me a Mountain Dew. Um, Citrus Blast, I don't think it says that in America. So yeah, we're just in some random town here. It's beautiful. Sweden is gorgeous. It's probably 20 degrees. It's not as cold as it was or as I thought it would be. Yesterday it was 15 below when we got to the airport, but it's just peaceful and beautiful. Okay, so there are a lot of electric cars in Sweden. And I think it's really interesting that when you pull up to the gas station, not only does it show how much the gas and the diesel is, but it shows how much it costs to charge. Now it says kilowatt hours, 150, so I'm guessing it's like 150 speed kilowatt charger and it's 649. That is not US dollars, that is their dollars, so that's a lot cheaper. In fart, ut fart. <laughs> We are arriving at our hotel here. After like three hours, I took a little nap, had a good ride. Whatever their money is, it's around 6,700 of their dollars. I'm thinking it's probably gonna be like two or $300 for this ride. So it is what it is. Beautiful place. Looks like this is the place, the Silver Hatton. All right, thanks. <laughs> Other than this band that's preparing for tonight, there's really nobody here. The people that I'm coming here with, um, I'm gonna make a video on it tomorrow and I'll just tell you now, it's Mercedes Benz. I'm here with Mercedes Benz, we're about to do a video. Um, but everybody's out because I missed everything because of my little flight delay yesterday. It feels really weird because I'm basically at this empty hotel in the middle of Sweden, the middle of North Sweden in the Arctic Circle. And I've been traveling for so long, so I hope that tomorrow and the next day are super epic because this was a long travel, but I will say it's been a really fun trip coming out here. Let's go check out my room and then uh, we'll sign off for the day. Look at that. There's just snow everywhere. Room 52. Okay. Looks like I'm downstairs. Mm, there's stairs. Wow. My hall is messy. <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow, okay, what is happening here? This room is actually super cool, except what is that? Is that an ant? What is that ant doing? Okay, there's the bathroom. Look at this. We got a little desk area with windows looking out. There's a door that walks outside. And then look at the bed. It's got some fur on it. I've never been to the Arctic Circle in Sweden and I am glad I came here today because it looks so good. I'm so scruffy just from the last three days of traveling out here. Whew. Man, what a trip. So this is it. This is my room and I made it all the way to Sweden. It's Saturday, 8 a.m. That's when I left. That's when I was filming the video because I took Claire to school at 8 a.m. It's been 48 hours leaving my driveway to getting to my hotel room. Wow, that was a lot of travel. I slept on two airplanes. One of them was for nine hours on an actual plane flying across the world. And then the other one was just in the engine of an old airplane that wasn't really in the airplane. So I've slept in two airplanes, 48 hours. I feel great. I feel really good. The Tesla is still charging. It has charged 188 miles and it has three hours remaining. I'm gonna take a screenshot of that. The hack has worked. Nobody has unplugged my Tesla yet. Tonight we have a dinner party and then we're gonna go hopefully see the Northern Lights and do some test driving of some Mercedes-Benz cars out there. So what a trip. I'm gonna shave, get showered for the first time in two days and then get out of here and go film something. So this has been an amazing experience. I'm in Sweden. I wish that Leslie or the kids were here, but at least I have you guys to keep me company on this little random trip. I hope this video turned out. It is just a random vlog of me traveling. If you like seeing my random days of me traveling when there's really not as much going on, 
let me know because I've been doing a lot of videos that are like very, very specific to one thing. Like I'm gonna test this with the car. I'm gonna do this with the family. But if you liked seeing the travel day, let me know. If you really don't like it, let me know also and put it in the comments. So that's it, Sweden. All right, get ready. I don't know, I don't know what else. Thank you guys for watching. That was pretty fun. We got this drink, Zingo, Zingo. Sweden, what a day. Thanks for coming with me on my random day. Oh boy, it's on the horse's butt.